What is up everyone, Blue Spade here with another unboxing video and today I'll be unboxing the Fleeting Glory Edition of Fate Extella Link. As of course you all know, I'm a big fan of the Fate series. I've I pretty much like watch almost every one of the anime that they released so far, all their spin-offs, all, all their different games that, that have come out, including the mobile game Fate Grand Order. And of course, like, you know, recently I watched the the second part of the Heaven's Field trilogy, uh, Lost Butterfly, last Thursday. And it was, you know, I, I like that movie, and of course I did a review with that with uh, one of my friends, uh, Captain Chaos. So, uh, yeah, you can definitely check that out. So anyway, so, uh, Fate Extella Link. Yeah, so this is the sequel to, uh, to the Fate Extella game that I played two years ago. It was actually pretty good. Um, it's, of course, um... Like one, it's like a Dynasty Warriors inspired type of game where you play uh, as the different servants featured in the Fate franchise, uh, like uh, like the Blue Saber, Saber Artoria Pendragon. Uh, there's Jean de Arc from Fate Apocrypha. There's Karna, and and pretty pretty much like any type of like all, all the mainstream stream servants that are featured in there. So okay, so. Yeah, so Fate Extella Link is a, is also a, a continuation of the Fate Extra series, which is uh, which was uh, released, of course, in the I think it was pretty sure it was on the PSP version, um, and of course, like uh, it's also has like a visual novel style like uh, storyline in in there as well. The thing about uh, playing Fate Extella last uh, well, uh, what was it two years ago? Is that it has a lot of dialogue, a lot of visual novel type dialogue um, compared to like uh, how uh, compared to how much you can play it in game. Like uh, I think when when I first started playing Fate Fate Extella, I think uh, you 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 would have to play like at least an hour of like uh, I don't know how I can't remember how long it was. It was very long. It's like thirty. 30 minutes more than 30 minutes of dialogue before you can actually play the game itself so yeah so uh yeah so let's check this out so this is pretty similar to the what was it the noble phantasm edition that i uh that i uh, got a couple years ago so of course it's made by marvelous and uh, let's see of course it's like a big box set yeah exactly the same as like uh, the noble phantasm edition i got two years ago so let's see what this has so 10 new servants to encounter, new battles to win, new rivals to face, all were born in a new lunar world. So let's see, of course uh, we have like several new uh, servants featured in this game. Uh, some of them like added from the uh, Fate Grand Order and uh, of course Fate Apocrypha. So let's see, we have the new Saber class servant uh, Charlemagne right here. And then, of course uh, we have all, all the other uh, servants, both old and new. Um, of course uh, most of them are new right here. So we have... Um, Skathaha, I can't, well, if someone can really pronounce your name, uh, please tell me. Um, and then we have Astolfo from Fate Apocrypha, Robin Hood, there's uh, Ar Arjuna, there's Drake, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but yeah, so, yeah, uh, not, not that they added new characters in there. I wish there was uh, plenty more that, you know, I could, w I really wish they could add, like, several more uh, that are featured in Fate Grand Order, like, uh, well, uh, I'd say like Amoxa Shiro or, or let's see what what are the servants that are there that aren't, that aren't featured? I, there's like a ton of servants that I, I would really want them to add in there, but uh, it's probably the best we could ask for with ten new servants in here. So let's see what comes with this. So include the course of the game, soundtrack, a four point five wide three D acrylic diorama, which is right here, and of course uh, and ten all new three point. Uh, three five servant cards and the 17 and 24 cloth wall scroll just exactly like uh, the noble phantasm edition well the only difference is uh in like this is a this version comes with it in acrylic diorama so it'd be interesting to see uh, how uh, how i'm able to how it looks when i take it out all right so let's open this thing up uh, let's take this plastic out Is really eager to play this game so I'm pretty sure it has a tab right here a magnetic tab of course so, yep here it is here's the game right here of course I'm gonna need scissors for this <laughs> uh, if I can find something right here uh, great I think I can 
find something here. Give me a minute. There we go. <sighs> All right. All right, so we got the regular game right here. The funny thing is like uh, I saw this game like last June and I was so tempted to pick, uh, pick it up because I know like, uh, you know, the PS4s are all like uh, region free so you can play like Japanese games on even on an American console. But you know, I held off, you know, ju you know, just to wait for this moment. So we have the regular cover art. So we have uh, Charlemagne, Nero, Robin Hood, Scatha, uh, Tamamo and the Stolfo on the cover art and in the back wow these are all the servants that are featured in the game including uh, Ar Artoria, Ryder, Caster, Lancer every almost like you know everyone featured in the, or the original game all right so let's open this up and of course uh, oh yeah so uh, it comes with the DLC costumes right here I'm not gonna reveal the code you know you go. so and of course it comes with the a full manual right here including servant introductions yeah all the servants featured in here yeah all all this uh, all the information of all the different servants including the the master uh of course there's the male and female uh version of the hero character nice <laughs> it includes like all 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 those if, if okay so look if you have the saved data from Fate Excel, you can load it from Fate Excel Link's main menu and get these bonus extra content right here. That's nice, right here. Excellent. So, hold on here. So we have the reg regular disc right here. Mm, nothing too fancy. Mm, pretty standard looking. There's the Fate Excel Link. And of course, nice uh, back cover. So of course we have the soundtrack. I'm gonna have to poke this out. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm just gonna have to grab some scissors for a minute. Uh, sorry about that. Having to walk around my room like this. All right. Sorry. I'm just gonna have to cut these open carefully. For one thing, don't want to ruin the package. All right, so of course, here's the soundtrack. Here's all the listings of all the uh, of all the songs or the music. And of course, here's the disc, the original soundtrack. Just put this aside right here. And then we have the poster cloth. Just be careful with this one. But yeah, it's gonna look really nice. In fact, you know, this cloth looks a lot better than than the previous one. There we go. Yeah, there's uh, featuring the three of the main characters. We have uh, Nero Saber, Tamamo, and of course, uh, and of course, the new Saber class servant Charlemagne. Okay, so let's see what's in the rest of this here. We have the acrylic right here. Hopefully if I can like, take this out, hold on. And the rest of the cards. I'm gonna have to rip this open. Put this back on here. All right, so let me just set it all aside. So it's pretty similar to Pretty much exactly similar to the previous version, it, which also had the cards. Yeah, the like back see through cards right here. Okay, so here we have the servants. Let me just move all this out of the way so I can let you guys see properly. So, okay, so we have Charlemagne, Arjuna, who's the archer, 
Ryder, Astolfo, Archer, Robin Hood. We have Ryder, Francis Drake, Berserker, Lancelot, Berserker, Darius III, Lancer, Skathaha. Then we have uh, Gildare, uh, Caster. And last, we have a new ruler class. And it's also a number two. Pretty much a continuation of the other other collector's edition card set uh, that I've gotten. So yeah, so that's all the cards right here. I would have to imagine this is going to be the longest unboxing video that I've done. Alright, so let's check out this uh, little display stand, acrylic stand. Huh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I think this should be easy. Hmm, I am putting this right, right? It should be easier to assemble. assemble. I think I got it. Come on, stick, stick in there. Come on. All right, I think I almost got it. Pain in the butt having to do this in one hand. I think I got it. Yay. Here we go. Here's the acrylic 3D stand of Featuring Scatha and Nero and uh, Francis Drake. Looks really nice right here. Alright, so yeah, I really like this whole new set right here. This is what I like about unboxing uh, unboxing uh, editions like this. Usually previous unboxing videos that I've done like barely contain a lot of anything nowadays. But yeah, this is like uh, another one of the biggest like uh, unboxing videos that I've done uh, since... Well, the Noble Phantasm edition uh, last year. But yeah, so... Wow, this is a lot. A huge set right here. So yeah, so we have the soundtrack. We have the game. We have the acrylic stand. We have all 10 cars right here, including the cloth uh, uh, poster. And yeah, so this is the Fleeting Glory edition for Fate Excel Link. Can't wait to start playing this, guys. Um, yeah, so that's my unboxing video for Fate... Uh, yeah unboxing video once again so yeah thanks for watching guys uh hope to see you again uh, in one of, in another unboxing video very soon